The lead up to a new PBA season is always marked with new deals, rookie contracts, and of course, the big trades that seem to come out of nowhere. So some fans have, uh, you know, scratched their heads and others mark the beginning of bright new chapters for players and franchises. But are they really out of nowhere? And what happens behind the scenes? Uh, well, let's find out from the defense minister, basketball legend, Jericho Deniera, and talagang pinipili natin to, Mr. Cute but Careful, CBC, Carl Brian Cruz. Yes, Gentlemen, yes, yes. welcome back to the score. Okay, sakto naman, ang usapan natin is trades, PBA trades. Yes. Madalas controversial yan. <coughs> Nakato naman, ikaw Jerry, you were part of a big trade. Yes. yes. yes CBC, ikaw din. Uh -huh. Trade ka na din. Ang tanong, ano ba nangyayari pag natitrade ang isang player? So what happened during your trade? Well, uh, what happened there was uh, the night before the trade, uh, Coach Eric Altamirano, who used to coach Pure Foods before, called me up and said, sabi niya sa akin, pare, kamusta? Anong ginagawa mo? Eh, Coach, ito, nagre-rest lang. Sabi niya, oh, pare, really ka bang maglaro sa akin? Eh, as a good soldier, siyempre, sabi ko, yes, Coach, anytime. <laughs> oh, sige, sabi ko. I-trade ko si Andy Siegel para sa'yo. Ha? Huh? Coach? Sige, Coach. Coach, pero may contract pa ako. Two years. Sabi niya gano'n. Sabi ko. Then sabi ni Coach Eric, i-extend ko pa. Ah, gano'n ba, Coach? Bahayos, ha? Tapos yung salary ko, i-increase pa niya. Wow. Okay na naman. <laughs> sabi ko. Yung two years, ginawa five years. Yung contract, nilakihan pa yung amount. So, lahat okay. So, o oh, sige, ha? Iti-trade ko na. The following day, ayun na. Na-trade na ako. Sabi kong gano'n. So, medyo, hindi ko pa masyadong ma-feel. Yun lang. Grabe ang balita. Tapos, parang medyo nawala ako sa balanse. Then, uh, medyo yung adjustment after a week. Pagdating ko dun sa kabilang team, Mobiline, siya parang ang expectation sa akin, napakataas. Parang Michael Jordan ang dating ko. Kaya, <laughs> may hirap. Coach, my so, my oh, ako, sabi ko, uy, limahan ng basketball. <laughs> Tulos sa <laughs> lahat. Eh, no? Ganon, yun. yun, yun. Uh, so, it, in a way, ginusto mo siya. Ginusto ko because, because of the offer, oh. but yung the chemistry issues um, in, the new, in your new team? In my new team was not uh, present at uh, that time. Adjustment pa rin. Hindi mo pinagsisisiya na umalis ka ng Pure Foods? In a way. A way, in a way may yeah. nakap kahit papano. Oo, kasi siyempre, tagal ko dun eh. Almost 10 years, 11 years. Pero maswerte ka. You were actually part of the discussion. Uh, uh, I don't know kung ganun sa ibang player. Ikaw, uh, Carl. Well, sa akin, wala akong alam eh. <laughs> Siguro yun, after practice, nanonood ba kami ng Gilas, World Cup, kay Coach Yeng. Ayun doon, saya namin, may pizza, may pizza party pa kami, viewing talaga kami sa ano namin eh. And then, pag uwi ko after, sa bahay namin, biglang tumatawag sa akin si Coach Jeff. Di ko nga nasagot eh, kasi nasa sigara ko eh, nung dumudumi. <laughs> Tapos, sige. <laughs> sabay, sabay, sabi mo, kwento ko, di ba? Sabay, pag... Hindi naman sila kay kwento mo lahat. <laughs> sabay yun, pag... Tapos, ano nangyari? Coach, sabi ko, you're calling, coach. Oh, sige. Can I call? Sabi niya. Sige, sinagot. Hey, Brian. How are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have something to tell you. Sabi niya. Ganyan. What, coach? Uh, I'm going to trade you. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya. Wait, Abu Trotter. And wala talaga akong alam. Nagpa-practice na ako ng one week na hindi ko alam na may ganun pala. So, ayun. At first, talagang mahirap talaga para sa part ko. Siyempre, almost three years ako dun. Eh. Naiyak nga ako eh. Talaga ba, coach? Hindi <laughs> naman magbabago yun. Okay, English yun, English yun. <laughs> so, ayun, ayun lang. Tapos, well, napunta naman ako sa Blackwater. Uh, fam Familiarity-wise, familiar naman ako sa kanila. Kasi mga nakasama ko na rin sila before. Ayun. Pero, in a way, maswerte rin kayong dalawa. Kasi tinawagan kayo, uh -oh. sinabihan kayo. Hmm. What about yung mga kilala nyo? Yung mga teammate nyo, mga kaibigan nyo sa league? Huwag <laughs> na tayo magbagit ng pangalan oh, na yeah. team. Yeah. Pero nangyayari ba yung nagugulat talaga yung player sa trade? Kasi uh, nung una, uh, parang hindi pa rampant yung gano'n eh. So nung I was part of isang team dyan sa PBA, baliktad naman. Sinasabi naman namin sa player, magpagaling ka para ma-trade ka. <laughs> kasi, kasi eh, kung ganyan lang laro, paano ka iti-trade? <laughs> Oo, ah gano'n ba coach? Oo, galingan mo. Paano ka kung pag-aagawan ng mga ibang teams? Kaya, kaya kami... Pay tayo para mag-increase yung Tumas stock value. Yung, yung value, pagkakaguluhan kayo. Eh masama, pag hindi ka na pinag-usapan, that means, wala na. Hindi ka tradable. Hindi ka tradable, oh, di ba? Nasa value. stock market ka pa. Ayun. Ayun. Paano yung mga nagugulat? Yun, yung mga ikaw, tinawagan. Pero hmm. may mga player ba na yung, 
Malalaman nalang, nakita sa Facebook, nakita sa Twitter. Uh, ngayon, ako, nag-check lang ako sa Twitter. Ayoko sabihin niyo pangalan eh. Pero uh, medyo malamig doon. Medyo may snow, snow doon onte. Eh. Uh, <laughs> Tapos, ayun nga. Doon ako nag-check ng mga updates talaga. Pero medyo, ano rin, accurate. Tapos, yun, pero one time, may nangyari sa amin. May friend doon nagsabi sa akin, may laro kami ng hapon ha. Morning, nasa out of town kami sa Pampanga. Ay, Carl, itatrade na raw si ano. Si Gento. Uh, oh, tapos sinabi ko, pre, itatrade ka na raw ha. Ha? Talaga ba? Hindi nga. Nag- Kinakabahan din siya, tapos tumawag yung so, trade. alam. Hindi niya alam. alam. Tapos ang nangyari, the next day, hindi natuloy yung trade. Ah. Yan ang mahirap dun. So, hindi siya nakapaglaro ng maayos. Ayan. Ah, may may, 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 may ganun, may ganun, may ganun talaga. May, 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 may parang, ayun yung nasa akin, ha? may ganun eh. Mas, may masakit, ganun. masakit ang matrade. Yes, masakit. Uh, kasi kahit pa paano sabihin mong para tayong commodity anytime, pwede, para, pwede tayong trade, e-trade anytime. Nandun pa rin yung, yung heart mo to play the game, passion for you to be e- effective. Kailangan nandun pa rin yung kasama mo, yung coach mo, tapos biglang, taayin nyo na pala sa akin, titrain nyo, di ba? Biglang magiging, nagkakaroon ng adverse effect yun sa game. Uh, sa akin, uh, meron naman din in, in a sense na iba gusto magpa-trade. Yun, gusto nila makaalis sa team nila. Kaya gumagawa sila ng way na minsan, gum- nag attitude or gumagawa ng mga... Para malipat. Para malipat. Uh-huh. Yung mga ganun. Uh, I remember Coach Joel Banal told me na ang player, kahit ginustong matrade, the minute matrade, may sakit pa rin yun. Mayroon siyang... Yeah, yeah, oh, mayroon. Bakit? 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 Ano, bakit ganun? Eh, because of yung, yung, yung ano niya sa, 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 sa team. Eh. Yung attachment mo sa team. Eh. Kaya kailangan lag, merong emotional attachment. Eh. Pero kung wala nun, mahirap maging effective sa team. Unlike yung isang kumpare ko, si Berel, pwede kong bangitin. Pok, sinasabi niya, ah, pare ako, baliktad ako. Pagka hindi ko gusto yung sitwasyon, nagpapatrade ako. Ganun. Sinasabi niya? Sinasabi sa amin ni Berel. Berel kasi diretso si Berel. Si Berel. Ah, <laughs> si Berel. <laughs> Berel. <laughs> Berel. Berel siya kausap. Sinasabi niya, pag hindi niya gusto yung sitwasyon. Tama yun. But that's a, yun nga, that's a Berel Menezes. That's a Jerry Codinera. What about all the other players sa PBA oh, oh, oh. na role players, oh, oh. yung mga end of the bench, ganyan. Hmm. Paano yung mga ngayon na lalo na naging journeyman, di ba? Palipat-lipat. Anong pakiramdam nila? Yun na, napakahirap yun. Number one, lalo na pag wala ka pa napapakita sa PBA. Oh. Lalo na pag minimal lang yung playing time mo. Oh, yeah. Ang hirap nun kasi, siyempre, number one, gusto mo makalaro. Number two, gusto mo tumaas yung market value mo. So, kung palipat-lipat ka ng team, nababawasan yung value mo. Lalo na kung hindi ka ganun ka-expose sa court. Yun. Yun yung disadvantages. But this is part of basketball life. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Ito yung part na talaga ng work natin to. Yung mga ganyang bagay. Uh, it's beyond our control. Ayun. Tsaka you have to have a solid, ano, solid, uh, stable yung ano mo, emotional sa, as a player, yung psychological mo, kahit saan ka ilagay, labang ka. Oh, you know, that's the mindset. You cannot choose your team, you cannot choose your coach, you cannot choose your teammates. Basta kahit saan ka ilagay, adjust lang, adjust lang. Tama yan. Tsaka just to add on, uh, just be grateful lang. At least, Kapag nasa PBA ka pa rin. Kapag at the same time, nakakapaglaro ka. May team ka. Alright. On that note, maraming salamat. Thank you, sir. Uh, Brian and uh, Boss Jerry for really taking us behind the scenes. Ano ba nangyayari sa mga PBA trade? Uh, thank you very much. Speaking of Pinoy Hoops, the future is bright for the country's rising stars as they learn from the very best in the recent GOAT Academy. It was a crazy past two weeks, but I'm just happy it was successful. I believe it was, and at the end of the day, the ultimate goal was for the PBA players to have an avenue to teach the college kids, and also for the college kids to get better and learn from the, the pros. Over the years, becoming a professional, all those practices, all those hours you put in, uh, you know, if you don't pass those down to the, the people that come after you, then it's kind of uh, it's kind of selfish. So I enjoy coming here, teaching the kids, helping them get better, uh, helping them see things that I didn't see till you know, later on in my career. I was excited because when I saw the lineup, the lakas of players in college, eh. and I really thought it was like, going to be a scrimmage. So that's when I found out it was skills. Mas maganda kasi uh, you could see your, your future opponents tsaka you learn from the PBA players. Ang daming naturo, ang daming natutunan ng mga college players. So yun, uh, proud, proud kami mga coaches na nakapag-share kami. Ang thing na natutunan ko is ano, marami pa akong kailangan gawin and marami pa akong kailangan i-improve.
after the break, we'll head on to the clay court as we talk about Philippines versus Greece in the upcoming Davis Cup tie when the score returns. <laughs> 